Trojan War began began a long time ago with a conflict between gods. It first began with the marriage of Peleus and Thetis. Peleus and Thetis did not invite Eris, the god of discord, to their marriage. Eris got very angry and threw a golden apple onto the table. The apple belonged to Eris and it said, Whoever was the fairest. Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite each reached for the apple. Zeus said that Paris, prince of Troy and thought to be the most beautiful man alive, would act as the judge. Hermes went to Paris, and Paris agreed to act as the judge. Hera promised him power, Athena promised him wealth, and Aphrodite promised him the most beautiful woman in the world. Paris chose Aphrodite and she promised him that Helen, wife of Menelaus, would be his wife. Paris then prepared to set off for Sparta to capture Helen. Sparta, the husband of Helen, Menelaus, treated Paris as a royal guest. However, when Menelaus left Sparta to go to a funeral, Paris abducted Helen and also took a lot of Menelaus' money. Menelaus, however, was very mad to find that Paris had taken Helen. Menelaus then called all of Helen's old protectors, as all of the protectors had promised long ago that they would all back Helen's husband to defend her honor. Many of the protectors wished not to go to war. Finding Troy proved difficult, and the Greek fleet at first landed in Mysia. According to Herodotus, the Greeks were under the impression that Helen had had been taken by the Tarantians, and though the Tarantians denied such allegations, the Greeks laid war to the city. The Greeks ultimately won, but suffered heavy casualties at the hand of Telephus, king of the Tarantians, and at the end were still without Helen. Telephus, in the course of the war, was wounded by Achilles. With nowhere else to turn, the Greeks returned home. The Trojan War might not have happened had not Telephus gone to Greece in the hopes of having his wound cured. Telephus had been told by an oracle that the only person who wounded him, in this case Achilles, could cure him. Achilles agreed and Telephus told the Greeks how to get to Troy. The first nine years of the war consisted of both war in Troy in war against the neighboring regions. The Greeks realized that Troy was being supplied by its neighboring kingdoms, so the Greeks were sent to defeat these areas. As well as destroying Trojan economy, these battles let the Greeks gather a large amount of resources and other spoils of war, including women. The Greeks won many important battles and the Trojan hero Hector fell, as did the Trojan ally Penthesilia. However, the Greeks could not break down the walls of Troy. Still seeking to gain entrance into Troy, clever Odysseus ordered a large wooden horse to be built. Its insides were to be hollow so that the soldiers could hide within it. Once the statue had been built by the artist Apelius, a number of the Greek warriors, along with Odysseus, climbed inside. The rest of the Greek fleet sailed away so as to trick the Trojans. The man, Sinon, was left behind. When the Trojans came to the marvel at the huge creation, Sinon pretended to be angry with the Greeks, stating that they had deserted him. He assured the Trojans that the wooden horse was safe and would bring luck to the Trojans. Only two people, Laocoon and Cassandra, spoke out against the horse, but they were ignored. The Trojans celebrated what they thought was their victory and dragged the wooden horse into Troy. That night, after most of Troy was asleep or in a drunken stoper, Sinon let the Greek warriors out from the horse and they slaughtered the Trojans. Prime was killed as he huddled by Zeus, Zeus's altar, and Cassandra was pulled from the statue of Athena and raped. Polysena, daughter of Prime, was sacrificed at the tomb of Achilles in Astynx. Son of Hector was also sacrificed, signifying 
the end of the war. Aeneas, a Trojan prince, managed to escape the destruction of Troy, and Virgil's diary tells of his flight from Troy. Many sources say that Aeneas was the only Trojan prince to survive, but this statement contradicts the common story that Andromache was married to Helenus, twin of Cassandra, after the war.